Housing in Australia is cooked. It is seriously messed up. We have lost sight of the basic fact that housing needs to be treated as a human right. In a wealthy country like Australia, no one should go without a home. No one should go without a home. But we have an affordability crisis in this country. We have homelessness rising. In my area of Victoria, there's 82,000 people on the waiting list trying to get into public housing. If we turned 82,000 people in the state of Victoria away from public schools because there weren't enough places at the schools, there would be an outcry. Meanwhile, this government keeps locking young people out of the housing market by providing billions of dollars in subsidies to people who have already got two, three, four homes to go and buy their fifth or sixth. And that not only is a drain on the public purse, but it keeps bumping up the prices of housing so that young people who think they might be in with a chance of buying a house go along to an auction and keep getting outbid by someone who's already got a couple of houses because they know that if they buy the house, no matter how much it costs, they can write off their losses as a tax break. That is the crazy situation that we have at the moment. And we have that situation because we no longer treat affordable housing as a human right. We treat it as an investment class where the government rewards their big donors, but young people get locked out of the housing market. And that's for buying, but it's the same increasingly for renting as well. And if you are a young person on youth allowance trying to rent at the moment, or if you're in one of those jobs where, where we have a, a jobs crisis in this country because nearly one in three young people is either unemployed or doesn't have enough hours of work, they're stuck in low hour insecure work, it is hard now to even rent a house. And the price of housing keeps going up and up and up, and everyone who's got three or four houses already loves that because then you can sell, sell a house and make a bit of money, but everyone else gets locked out and everyone else gets screwed over, and that is what we need to fix with the Green New Deal. Authorised by Jay McCall, Australian Greens, Canberra.